from PRX. Friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know, this episode contains no hex wrenches, no, uh, there is a small percentage of time I'll use a, I used actually, I didn't even use pliers, I could have used a wrench. I don't think I used any hex wrenches. Uh, is that what they're called? Is it like a, six, a wrench with six sides? Is that what it is? How come there's no, is there any, oct- did, did Dr. Octopus exclusively exclusively use uh, octo, oct, it would be an oct wrench, right? Uh, that would be hard. You'd say, I'm sorry, what'd you say? I need, hand me the oct wrench, the f- point four. Sorry, did you say? I didn't understand what I'm Dr. Octopus, uh, from, was from Spider-Man, which you may have already confused you. And I need to put this furniture together that I designed. So I'll be rested. So when I encounter, uh, that superhero I deal with, whose name I shouldn't have said earlier. So I'll say like, so you didn't even hear it because I didn't actually say it, uh, I need to be rested, so I'm building a, a super comfy bed using, but I need my oct wrench. Point four, please. Oh, okay. Did you actually know? I'm sorry, Mister Oct, Mister Oct. Uh, um, you know we have. Uh, I mean, we're actually at the beginning of a sleep podcast called Sleep with Me. So, what if you just put put the wrenches aside and lie down? I'll tell you about the show. It's a podcast uh, to keep you company and take your mind off stuff. It actually doesn't even put you to sleep. It's just a friend in the deep, dark night, a little bit of a distraction. It's very strange, though. I can tell, you know, since we're talking one-on-one here, it uh, it takes a few tries to get used to. So hopefully you won't use any, like, any of your octagons on me or whatever they're called uh, because... Um, uh, it does take a couple tries. It's just a very different show, but it's really designed because you deserve a good night's sleep. I mean, in this case, I would say, hmm, do, like, uh, I may not do, like, uh, I'd say, but, but I'd say for the love of Peter Parker, I'm in a conundrum now, but maybe I'd call that a um, um, magical man and see what he has to say. What's his name? Stephen. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, if you're confused, uh, whether you're, uh, like a fictional being or not, no, not, not to, uh, give you any news, but you don't like, uh, uh, those real, like anybody who's listening, here's what's going to happen. We got some support coming up. So shows free for everybody who wants to listen. Amazing. So, so many people, uh, listen to the show and so many people can identify with what it means to need a friend in the deep, dark night. Then there's a long meandering intro, which is separate from the support. Don't miss out on it. It's meant to ease you into bedtime. And later on, it'll be our bedtime story where we'll be talking Ikea furniture. That's why, uh, like our friend Octo was, some. Um, had uh, ha- wrenches on, on the hex wrench to an oct wrench. Put the hex wrench to the oct wrench. And, um, yeah, if you're confused so you're in the right place, it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that's here to keep you company, take your mind off stuff in the deep, dark night. The podcast that puts you to sleep. But welcome to Sleep With Me. And these sponsors are what enable us to do it for free twice a week. All right, everybody, this is Scoots. I'm trying to do an efficient message about Sleep With Me Plus. So if you like this ad-supported version of the show, don't worry about it. If you're new to the show, don't worry about it. Or if you know you just use Sleep With Me occasionally, don't worry about it. But if Sleep With Me gives you the feels, if Sleep With Me is a part of your bedtime routine, it's something you look forward to, it's a big part of your life, or it's just made your life and your sleep better. But you say, you know, I love Sleep With Me, but I wish I could just listen to the stories. Or I love Sleep With Me, but I really 
really want to listen to the all intro episodes only. Or I really love Sleep With Me, but what I like to do sometimes is just listen to all the TNG episodes. Or I just want to listen to intros. I want to listen to stories without music. Or, you know what? I love the full episodes, but I just prefer something without the supporter zone or the sponsor spots. You get all that in Sleep With Me Plus. And all the content is separated out. So if you just want to listen to full ad-free episodes, there's a podcast just for that. If you just want to listen to story-only shows, no music, just the stories, there's a podcast for that. If you love all intros or all-night compilations, there's a podcast with those in there. And then there's a podcast with all of our bonus material. And depending on what level you get, you get access to exclusive Ray episodes, Fearless Flyer episodes, on-location episodes, unreleased shows. So it is really cool because I was able to build Sleep With Me Plus based on 10 years of feedback from you of how you listen. You know, for most people, the ad-supported feed works, but for about 40% of the audience or so, maybe you're one of them. You're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more customizable because Sleep With Me is a part of your life. And you say, it's made my life better, but I just want the stories. We finally got that figured out for you. And you could sign up for a seven-day free trial over at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. That's sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. You could check out the different tiers. It's so easy to get set up, but you sign up and then two taps, you could have it open in your podcast app. You could add all four podcasts and you'll be good to go. So check everything out at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus and let me know about it. Thanks everybody. All right, everybody. It is time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone. This is one part of the podcast, and we need you to hear it's where I pop my peas, if you please. I thank the listeners who supported our sponsors because they know so many of you get so much out of this ad-supported feed that is free to everybody. So you might want to do two, like a finger clap along since you're maybe already in bed or winding down. And I want to thank Donna, who used our link, uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleepphones, used Sleep With Me at checkout, got that discount. Got some sleep phones. I'm not sure if Donna got the Sleep With Me branded sleep phones or not, but uh, either way, you're going to be happy. Most comfortable way to listen to Sleep With Me are those sleep phones. Thank you, Donna. All right. If you want to be on, if you want to hear, would, would you love to hear your name here on uh, on, on the uh, Sleepy Supporter Zone? Support a sponsor. Take a free trial. Take that Helix quiz and then let the sponsor know about it. Tag them. Tag me on social media is the best way because then they say, wow, people really love this podcast uh we really do get a lot out of supporting sleep with me it is important to people that's what that's what your action does and then they stick around and everybody gets to benefit by you that's why i take the time to thank people and i do it in an excited way so i can be here for you for free so yeah, yeah tag the sponsor tag me fill out the form at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sponsors thanks everybody the second part of the sleepy supporter zone is you getting the support you need right now uh there's links to resources including international resources that you could connect with, including right now. It's also about being a part of a community, being a part of positive change. It's not just saying Black Lives Matter. It's not just saying stop AAPA. It's not just saying support Ukraine. It's taking action, learning more, and then taking action. And you, if you listen to these, you know, I heard about uh, uh, Hand in Hand from RBG. Uh, it was one of her favorite charities. And it's never been a more important time to support organizations like Hand in Hand right now. You know, it started with only 50 children in 19. 19- 98 and hand in hand now has six campuses and thousands of Jewish and Arab students and hand in hand's uh, motto is partnership is the only way forward together we learn together we hurt together we support and you could support hand in hand you could use the link in our resources or go to hand in hand k12.org to support the work they're doing because if you're listening to this you know how important that work is also there's other organizations we're supporting in our show notes uh, so use those links uh yeah uh, and be a part of let me know about it thank you so much uh oh mystery bard a lot of people work really hard on this show who are they chris posty poster song sounds like an earful wrote the theme song edits episodes carl w the lecture also edits episodes ashley kenny scotty jennifer runner, 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 runner. eric and the team write us down or on the website i am the mystery bard i do the lullabies yeah i do See the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie, and Jennifer These are your narrators Get support your scooter on Patreon Buy the merch and 
support the sponsors. You can find anything you want at sleepwithmepodcast.com. And we're so proud that we could dance. Rusty Biscuit, Lois, and a l a p Banana. Leah does the transcripts. Thanks, Mr. Bard. Don't forget, we've launched Sleep With Me Plus by the time you're hearing this. And if you're not in a position to support the show you, and you don't want to miss out on Sleep With Me Plus and all it has to offer, sign up for our referral program. And as you refer people to the program, you could get access to Sleep With Me Plus to ad free episodes and story only episodes. And you could do that at、uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer. That's R E F E R. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer or use the link in our show notes. What do you say we slow it down and get on with the show?、Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake. It could be thoughts on your mind, stuff you're thinking about,、uh, thought, you know, things you're thinking, thoughts on your mind,、uh, thoughts about the past, present, the future, fiction,、uh, mul- you know, multiverse. Don't even, here's another thing to keep out of the bed, be- keep it out of the bedroom. I mean, I guess I can't say, keep it out of the bedroom at bedtime if you can. Multiverses, uh, uh, like uh, whether your name is、uh, like Steve, if you're Steve, you know, especially, but just keep them out of the bedroom.、Uh, Peter Parker and、uh, and others,、uh, because、uh, it's going to be like、uh, it's confusing, and that's a bit. It's not just one thing. We can't like、uh, I, I'm going going through some、uh, working on Journey into the World of Friends. A lot of them in the, in the multiverse, there too. So, anyway, whatever verse you're, whatever you're versed in, you say, Scoots, you're not multiversed, are you? And I'd say, in verse, no. Multi, like,、uh, multi vocabulary, like,、uh, multiple mispronunciations. Whatever thoughts are keeping away, it could be feelings related to those thoughts or feelings that are just there, physical sensations, changes in time, temperature, routine. You could be anticipating something, going through something, getting over something, going somewhere, having somebody visit, work schedules, school schedules, whatever it is. I'm here to keep you company and take your mind off of that stuff so you could fall asleep because you deserve a good night's sleep. That's really the reason the show exists. The deep dark night can feel incredibly lonely, even when we're with other people, even with roommates or partners or family. And like this show is meant to keep you company through that, to say, hey, yeah, you deserve a good night's sleep, but you also deserve a little friendly distraction to let you know it, it, it's okay. Yeah, it is. It, it can feel lonely. And I'm here to keep you company through that、uh, because I've been there, and a lot of other people listening right now have too. And they're leaning in right now because they can relate to how you feel. Maybe I haven't been through whatever's keeping you awake. But if I can't relate to how you feel about it, somebody listening right now can. And the other thing is, you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve the rest you need so your life is more manageable. You deserve a bedtime you don't have to dread that you could look forward to or at least feel neutral about. And、uh, that's important, I, I think. Uh, so uh, I, I, I don't know. If you get the rest you need, you, your, your life is going to be better tomorrow. And if you get the rest you need on a regular basis, you could be out there flourishing. That means the whole world is a better place because we need you and you deserve that rest.、Uh, even if you, you don't have to flourish, no pressure on flourishing. Believe me, I've crumbled over the、uh, opportunity to flourish. So, oh boy, that's、uh, like I'd say I prefer to.、Uh, Could I just flur or rish? I, I prefer just give me 50%. How about 33% of it? I'll fl- I, I don't know if I could flow.、Uh, yeah, I'd prefer to rish、uh, because that's.、Uh, is that the same? Is there only six letters in flourish? Okay, I get, I'll, I'll do 50%. How about that? Or sometimes I just shush, shush, you know. So that's why I make the show. It's twofold. I've been there, and you deserve a good night's sleep. What is going to happen is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing. 
creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders, and superfluous tangents, which I'm gonna means I'm going to go off topic, which I already have a few times. I'm going to get mixed up, which I've already done a few times. Uh, then I'm going to um, have filler words like those. Then I'm going to forget. And that's pointless meanders and superfluous tangents. Creaky dulcet tones is just my voice is not what you traditionally associate with soothing. And that's kind of what the nature of this podcast is. It's a podcast you just kind of listen to. Just like if you were having a friend over and like on a sleepover and you said, you, can you stay on the other side of the room and just talk gently the whole night? Um, or at least until I'm sound, sound asleep or I'll call you. And can we do that? That's a service I provide. Or can you put like a TV show on in the other room with the characters that talk, uh, on and on and on. Oh, talking about talk, talk, talk show, talk, sit, talking, the sitcom where we talk and talk and talk, uh, show. Sure. Yeah. Can you put that on in the other room, uh, like a lower volume? So that's the show. It's like, you just kind of listen to it. You could listen to it, but you don't need to. I'm here to be a distraction. I'm also not here to put you to sleep. I'm here to keep you company while you fall asleep, to take your mind off stuff. There is no pressure to fall asleep here. That's why the episodes are over an hour. That's why you could listen to up to 600 episodes if uh, or choose from the 600 episodes for free uh, and say, okay, yeah, the, these are the ones I, I want to listen to tonight or these are the ones I've found are my favorites. Uh, because I'm here to be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar sib, your boar bud, your boar bestie, your neighbor, your boar burr, your boar bee, your boar bra, your boars, your friend. I'm just here to be a friendly distraction. There's people who listen, who are listening who can't sleep, so I'm here to the very end, whether you're awake or asleep. That's the job of a boar friend, of a boar bestie, especially a boar bestie forever. Uh, you know, uh, is that for Eva? No, forever. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. I was just thinking of Eva from uh, Wally. Okay, great. Uh, that's clearly a podcast I don't need to listen to then. I mean, just because that doesn't have anything to do with it. And no, it doesn't. You're right about that. Um, but yeah, I'm here to be, be, be keep you company. Or if you need a break during the day, there's people who listen during the day because they need a little break. Because the main thing about the show is you kind of listen to my voice like it's outside of whatever's going on in your head or your body or your feelings. And you say, okay, that's not bad. But I don't know what he's talking about either. So, uh, well, I'll keep listening. And then you drift off or you lower me down to a volume. Whatever it is, you'll see how it works for you. The thing is, though, like I said earlier, this show does not work for it, it. And I've been hearing from more and more people it worked for on the first try. So I will acknowledge if it works for you on the first try, great. We're, you know, then you could probably relate to me more than a regular listener because you say, holy cow, I know what he's talking about. I've been there and uh, I didn't even know this could exist. I, I finally, I found uh, like this is, I mean, really, that's when I say Deep Dark Night United. There is something more than just sleeplessness and loneliness that makes us less lonely, right? We say, okay, we have we shared sensibility. So some people do get on the first try, but for try or fry, uh, but for most people, it takes a couple times because you say, I thought this was going to be a sleep podcast. This was supposed to be the, the first sleep podcast uh, that came out on a regular basis and uh, like... Uh, but there's no, there's nothing relaxing or sleepy about this. I thought you were going to come, you know, and I say, yeah, it takes a while to get used to because this show is very different. You're right. And if you're skeptical or doubtful or frustrated, that's normal. Because if you're like me and a lot of other people listening, you've been looking for a lot of stuff. You've been trying different stuff to fall asleep. Somebody told you about the show or you found it. And you had a normal expectation that this would be zen-like or there'd be nature sounds or I'd be counting down 10, 9, 8 or what, or counting, you know, I can't, I can't really skip numbers or whatever. 3, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, the pauses will get 24, 27, see, 30, 33, 36, 39, that was easy. 
45. Oh, now there's a pattern. So then I like, so, okay. So I didn't realize there would be a pattern. Um, so, um, you, yeah, you, no wonder you'd be frustrated or skeptical, right? You see, did that person, was that on purpose? You see, no, those pauses were where I was counting on my fingers for, for really, I'm, I have dyslexia. It's true. So yeah, I did a little thing. And then I said, wait a second. Wait, so 30, 53, is that 40, 53? I don't know. I'm already lost. Anyway, it's not important. 47, 50, 53. Yeah. Um, so, uh, just give it a few tries. You have nothing to lose. If you're having trouble sleeping or something, just give it a few tries. So get, listen to the show for three nights in a row. If it doesn't help, uh, here's the great news. If the show doesn't help after three nights or you already loathe me and you already know I'll, I'll never listen to anything you ever do again. Common reaction, believe it or not. A lot of people feel fr feel free to let me know that in very, uh, strong words too. So much so because I've been doing the show for 10 years. I made a website to save you the time. Sleep with me podcast dot com slash no thank you. So if you are having a reaction where you say, I don't, I don't have any desire to give you three tries, even two tries, uh, strongly with four letters, uh, don't worry about it. Go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. People have already paved the way, uh, over the, the old steam pavers, they call themselves. Uh, but uh, so, so really I'm laughing. I'm not laughing passively. Like, uh, I, I get it. I, I'm like, I get, I'm a person with strong feelings too. So that's why I made the website. It has sleep podcasts and other sleepy stuff on there ready for you to check out. So you can pick from one of those and give those, then say, well, this, this is a little bit more my style. There's tons of, like, after I started sleeping with me, like, then sleep podcast started to grow and grow and grow. And now there's all these different subgenres and stuff. So one might help you. So give that, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. Um, and here's the great news. Even though it has sleepwithmepodcast.com, it's not even on my website. So don't worry. I don't get any, even get any traffic from it. If just in case I've, I've had that, like, uh, like just in case you're having str so strong feelings. So, um, oh, but otherwise give it a few tries to just see how it goes. Cause I want to help. The only other thing to know is that, um, the structure of the show also throws people off. Our structure is very deliberate. So I'll explain why, but as you become a regular listener, you could adjust how you listen. But here's the structure. Show starts off with a greeting. Friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Then I explain some stuff. So you feel seen and welcomed in. You get an idea of the tone of the show. And you say, oh, okay, and a little bit of the structure. I could check that podcast out. Uh, then there's support for the show uh, because there's a lot of people who benefit from a free podcast uh, that they can listen to on any podcast app. And uh, like, I, I know who those people are. So I'm really happy we get to serve all those people. And that's what makes it possible. Then there's a long meandering intro that's meant to ease you into bedtime. And sometimes when people have a strong feeling about the support, they also have uh, attack that onto the intro. But the intro is a show within a show uh, that's like about, I don't know, 12 to 20 minutes long. Like, so it's after the support, I, like, uh, I guess I get it. Like, uh, people just say, oh, there's 30 minutes of, st of nothing, but this, the intro, we're already pretty deep into it. It's where I ease you into bedtime. It's a getting ready for bed experience, whether you're in bed, getting comfortable, whether you're drifting off, uh, or you're like a lot of listeners getting ready for bed or doing some other wind down activity, petting your pets, lying on the floor, doing both of those as part of my wind down, feet up on the bed or legs or whatever, whatever it is, drawing, knitting, hooking, crocheting, needle pointing, looking out the window. It, those are the things, this is what's been shown to work uh, and it's worked for me is having a bedtime routine to wind down. And that's what the intro is. Now there is 2% of people that skip the intro, but there's also a large number of people that listen to only intros on Patreon. 
So just kind of see what works for you at first, but that's what the intro is really here for, is to ease you into bedtime. For most people, maybe it puts you to sleep. Then there's support against the show could be free. And then there's our bedtime story, which will be uh, like Ikea assembly furniture, Ikea furniture assembly related. So it'll be fun, we'll, like a kind of like a real-time recipe. We'll be real-time assembling furniture. Holy cow, you could sleep to that. And then there's thank yous at the end. So that's the structure of the show. That's why I make the show. I'm really glad you're here. I, I work really hard. I yearn and I strive. I really hope I can help you fall asleep. Thanks again for coming by. And here's a couple of ways I'm able to do the show for you for free twice a week. Sleep With Me is brought to you by Progressive. Most of you aren't just listening right now. You're driving, cleaning, and even exercising. But what if you could be saving money by switching to Progressive? Drivers who save by switching save nearly $750 on average. And auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Multitask right now. Quote today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National average 12 12 month savings of $744 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2022 and May 2023. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. Uh, hey, thanks for coming over. Really appreciate the help. Uh, oh, you didn't realize you were going to be, oh, we're going to be putting together some IKEA furniture and talking. Uh, so I can't wait to get to it. Uh, good to see you. Oh, how have I been? Pretty good. I mean, uh, I, I'm keen to get to work, though, because uh, we got a couple things to put together. And, uh, yeah, let's start with it. You're ready to start? This is called the uh, Kugis. Kugis? You say Kugis, I say Kugis. Uh, or you could say Kugis. Uh, not, I mean, something you could give a kiss to. It's a plastic uh, bin. That's what I call it. I don't know. It's like a box without a lid. And this is pretty straightforward. So I thought we don't worry. I have my um, handy dandy box openers. So I'll open these up and have every. I'm ready. So I have recycling ready. And a place place set aside on my floor for all the extra items. Uh, But we could put it actually in this Kugis box uh, and use that. So, of course, when you start off, uh, you know, the, you, they always want you to know, if you get confused, you could always give them a call. I don't know. We, we may have to go online because they don't have the assembly for this mirror. Uh, so I'm excited. Now, what, now, for another item of information for the Kugis is Kugis. Kugis. Uh, your Kugis. Your, your Kugis. Your Kugis, as uh, Holland Oates once never said. Is on my was on was not on my shopping list, but because it was on sale, it got on there. Because I guess it would just be because Kugis, Kugis is on was not on my list. Uh, I don't like uh, so that like okay. So you want to know that you should do this on a table or the floor. They say to do it on a table. I would. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this on the floor. So let's get down the floor. Got yoga mats. Don't worry. I got our yoga mats out. Well, you know, another thing, you know, I've done this before. Uh, I always thought before when, when I um, drank too much, uh, that I could do this as a service if people, and I did do it as a, but I thought I could do it as a, like a YouTube thing. Other people were doing this. This was like about 12 years ago. Uh, thank goodness I didn't. Um, but you know, I could come to your place, put Ikea furniture together, but now we get to do it, you know, just talk and record it. Because I've always been good at this. Okay, so you just want to make sure you're, uh, you can't just do this just standing up against your hips or anything. You need a solid structure beneath you. And so we basically this thing only has five parts. Uh, there's two. Uh, so number one, so uh, we have two parts um, that look like uh, the two U parts. Uh, so all, there's four walls of the kingdom, right? Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, once upon a time, there was a, a, a place called Kugis. Uh, and it was on a list of being built up. Uh, and they said, well, we're, we see, we now do things modular, modularly here. As long as we have a foundation or a slab, 
to build it on, a sturdy one, the edict has been distributed that this must be, um, uh, you know, we now have the hill giants coming in to help us build these modular, build up up our our storage. Uh, We're working with the giants uh, to store grain for everyone. So the, like here in Kyrgyz, uh, that's what we're starting off with. And so we have two flats and two, U, like, barely a U-shape uh, as the four walls of our, um, and then we'll put in the flooring. Because um, you don't want, the, the thing about the flooring is keeps the grain inside, uh, proverbially or literally, doesn't leak out the bottom. Uh, so, okay, so step one, we're going to take a, 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 a U, it has a little hole in there, too. I guess technically for airflow, or you could hook your fingers in there, but you'd have to be carrying something pretty light. The giant I'm speaking with, sorry, right now, sorry to distract you. Um, so you could hook your fingers in there, but uh, so the U one, it's just barely you like. Uh, I just know how like it has lips. Not no no not that kind of lips. Like uh, I'm not good at describing the shapes of things, but. Uh, You'll note that it, the U-shaped ones, the U, U wall, the U walls uh, have a, a circle in the middle at the top, and that's how we know where the top is. So we're going to put the one on the circle. You could actually stand up because it has those little U's, uh, which now look like, uh, yeah, or now it looks like tiny, like a tiny M or N or something, uh, depending on like. Uh, doesn't look like an. I guess it looks like an like an an um, and a half of an M. I mean, not really. Okay, so that is going to be one thing. Now we're going to take the flatter piece. Now you're going to notice it has three little tabs uh, on each side. And the way you could tell the top from the bottom on this one is if you look at the bottom of the old U-wall, you're going to see a little lip down there and then three more, like, uh, tabs above that bottom lip or beveled. Is that a beveled edge? I don't know, but um, so we're going to... um. Make sure we have the bottom of the flat wall. Then we're going to take those three tabs, uh, and believe it or not, they fit right into three holes on the U, one of the U sides of, uh, like, facing inwards, of course, facing inwards. And we're going to line up those three tabs, and we're going to push down, and we should hear, oh, a click. Now, everything should be flush according to this picture where our finger's pointing to make sure it's flush and we're not... Uh, if we're off, then something's off, but we did it. Now we're going to take our wall. So now we have a bit of like an L or a corner, a right angle. You're right. This is, I guess you could consider this a right angle. Rounded, but right. You're right about that. You're right about that angle. I think you're probably 90, 90 or 45 degrees right. Uh, I don't know which one. Uh, 90 degrees, 90, 180. 360, yeah, so 90, 90, you're 90 degrees. Uh, was that one of the bands, 90 degrees? Is it 90 degrees of summer? What's the band Bernie the Butterfly likes? So you don't know. Okay, so we're going to take another, the other U one. We're going to make sure it's pointed upwards, and we're going to line that up with the tabs, uh, and we're going to click those. All right, good good work, Uh now we do have a U. Now we actually have a U. We have two 90-degree angles. Uh, we've got uh, 75% of a box done for this kingdom. And we're really, we're really, we're really, uh, we're really uh, assembling stuff without any tools necessary. Okay, so now we're going to take the fourth wall. And uh, we're going to um, line that up. Now we're going to do all six tabs at once. Okay, so you take that side. I'll take Okay, good work. Uh, are my tabs ready? They are. Yours? Okay. Do you want to push and click? Okay, good work. Now um, what we're going to do, this is step four, putting in the floor, putting in the bottom. And we're going to put it in an angle. Now you'll notice it has an X on the bottom that that should face downwards. The flat side should be face upwards uh, on the inside of the box. And the X will be on the floor, like underneath the box. And we're going to angle it under those tabs on one of our um, U sides. Uh, 
Yeah, you you could do that, and yeah, um, we, yeah, we do have a cube now. Well, we have a box soon, or we don't have a roof for our cube. Our cube has no roof, but a roofless cube. Uh, I think that like that was one of my po- poems I never wrote for the uh, summer reading game. A roofless cube, but I won't rhyme. Uh, I won't rhyme right now. But okay, so we, yeah, we're gonna put it under those, and then we're just gonna click it. So all not there's there should be nine tabs uh, in the three, so twelve tabs total. It's clicked under, and they sit. Job done. Holy cow! Are the, the, the people of Kugis, uh, the gi- giants of Kugis, gonna be happy that they have grain storage? I mean, I would say for giants, it's not gonna last very long. Okay, next up is, uh, we're going to look up, uh, the, uh, um, instructions for this mirror, um, Karmsund. Karmsund might be the leader of Hoogus, uh, I don't know, uh, good old Karmsund, uh, go to live on Karms, just Karmsund, uh. Okay, let's see if we got the manual here, if we can find it. Uh, all right, here we go. So, Karmsund, we got a lot of... Uh, so, we're going to need some things for this one, for this mirror. Uh, a level. We're not going to need all this stuff, really. We'll ju- we, we're, cause we're not hanging it on a wall. So, we just need a screwdriver, which I have right here. And remember, we could always call Ikea... Don't do this one on the floor. It says do it on a rug, but we're doing it on, um, I think we're going to do it against the wall. I'll be honest with you, but with a, um, with a yoga mat underneath, so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. checking for what we need in this pack. We should have, uh, Phillips head screws Four uh, Phillips head screws, 1144, 503 with those are flat topped, uh, then two 1144592s, those are also flat top Phillips. And then we should have three 1157 so those are rounded with a Phillips head. And two um, rounded top, uh, like a bolt, I don't know what you call that, or not a bolt, a nut. Uh, yeah, I know that makes you laugh because uh, I am a bit of a nut, you're right. 144504s. Okay, according to this, we're going to lay the mirror out on the floor. I don't always feel the need to follow the instructions. I think right up against this wall here, and we're going to put on the crown. This mirror wears a crown or some sort of, you know, whatever, scrolly scroll type thing. And we're going to take two of the um, rounded ones. That's the 1157 322s. So, um, and we're going to, um, yeah, we're just going to put them on, put it on the top of the mirror. And that's it. Now, like, uh, choose your own adventure. I mean, this adventure's already been chosen. Are you going to put it on the wall? If you de- if you decide for this adventure to mount your mirror on a wall, go to page eight. Uh, but if you want to proceed with uh, having this mirror stand up on the floor, stay on this page and keep reading, which we're going to do. Okay, so see those, we've got a bunch of metal pieces, uh, and what do we got here? Let me take a look. We should have, uh, yeah, that's the frame that's going to stand it up. So four pieces, uh, we're going to put them together, maybe five, I don't know, enough four? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh, and we're going to assemble those. To assemble those, we're going to use, um, wait a second. Okay, I see. So we're going to use one so of the uh, 11, 157, 322. That's at the top middle. And you can tell with the top because it doesn't have, you see those little, uh, those L bends are at the bottom. Great, great work. So we're going to screw that one in first. Uh, and that's the two, two out. Yeah, that's the top. Uh, yeah, and that makes a little bit of a U again. Uh then we're going to put the legs that we're going to attach. Oh, and then there's another piece that goes in the middle. Okay. Um, oh, because those pieces weren't separate. I was just imagining that. Okay, so this must be another thing that attaches to the mirror in the middle. And for that one, we're going to use 11, 144, 503, two, one on each side, left and the right. 
and just going to screw that in. I love these pre-drilled holes. Now we're going to put the legs on. For that, we're going to need two 144.503 um, at the bottom there um, the, for the feet. So we're going to attach the, uh, even though the feet go on the top of the upper body of the mirror, yeah, in the middle hole, there's three holes. I don't know what the three holes are for, probably if you're putting on something else. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to line that up. Uh, okay, and then, and then we're going to extend this since it's the this is going to be the foot of the mirror. And then that piece we just put in is kind of the brace. And we're going to use nuts and um, 144.592s. And we're going to need a wrench for this. So I'll hold the wrench and you um, do the screwdriver ring. Yeah, and the, um, yeah, the, the nut, even though it's rounded, it's going to go on the inside of the mirror's frame. And yeah, that's it. Now we could stand the mirror. Yeah, let's check our connections. Of course, you're one step ahead of me. Okay, and then we'll stand the mirror up. Uh, if we did have to put it together, we would have had to, um, you know, uh, level stuff and put on a something or other. So I'm glad we're not doing that. Uh, it's because it's just not my area of expertise. Okay. Next up is the Nord, Nord, Nordy, Nordly, Nordly. Uh, I don't know. Did you ever play Skyrim? Uh, did you believe, uh, like, uh, which, uh, you know, what I did was I try like, uh, Luckily, I had a good good save because at some point I, I was holding off on the two where you choose which who you're going to work with between, you know, the, and the overall thing. I saved that till I was almost done with everything except for stuff that was just I kind of uh, I played I played Skyrim for years and years. I would take a break and then I'd play it for a while and I'd take another break. Uh, it Nord would make me think of it because, uh, like, what I tried to do was maintain the old, I uh, tried to create the conference, right? But uh, for what happened was, so I said, I'm not going to choose sides. Then I get the chance to make everybody get along came up. Now, again, luckily I had a save thing because what happened was uh, I went to war the Nords, actually, and they said, hey, if you could get the um, other guys to go, that's great. Let us know. And I'd done both, but I realized then I went to the Empire or whatever, and they wouldn't talk to me unless I did their task, uh, the first one. But then I went and did the task, and I don't know if I talked to the wrong, it may have been all of this I did out of the wrong order. But then as soon as they wouldn't talk to me again unless I joined them. Like, to, so then it luckily, because I read online, they said, don't do the peace one, it's not as fun. So then luckily I went back to a safe spot that wasn't that old. And the rest is uh, history that's being made in my, you know, when I'm in my downtime occasionally. Okay, so this Nordly, it, it is quite flexible. I didn't even realize how flexible it was. It's like a dresser. It could be a chest of drawers. It could be a whole wall unit. And they don't even do a good job of marketing this because I would have probably spent more money and made it a double unit because uh, it has uh, half drawer, half size drawers and full size drawers, right? Uh, like, yeah, ones you put like undergarments and socks in, those are the half size drawers and then full size drawers. And, and as far as like how wide it is, uh, it's two full size drawers wide and it can be as far as two full-size drawers tall or more, which I didn't realize. Uh, so we're, but we're only doing it two full-size drawers tall, but we're doing um, one set of full-size drawers and two sets. Uh, no, no, this is incorrect. I think these are three drawers. Uh, yeah, th this uh, first image is not correct. Who would have thought they made on their front cover? It, uh, it, but so th they're three drawers tall. Uh, it's going to be a three drawer tall dresser with six sets, uh, three sets, uh, three deep drawers, and six uh, small drawers. Is that right? I think so. I don't know. I'm already confused, but. Uh, but it is expandable, so if down the road we need more drawers, uh, 
we'll do that. So we're going to start off like uh, with uh, uh, the small drawers uh, because I know you got to go. You're falling asleep on me, which is great. You could get comfortable. I'll do everything. How about that? You lie there. And I'll put this together, and then if we do the, this one, we could always do the imaginary thing to finalize it. But all we really need, tool-wise, is a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head for screwdriver, and something in case we had to do a little hammer hammering. And we got plenty of drawer space. Now, there's three packs of utensils or, or uh, hardware. Uh, there's the A-pack, uh, which kind of has these... Uh, screw locks or whatever these this is very typical I, ikea build uh eight of those we have 12 shorter screw phillips head screws eight dolls and then eight of these kind of doll screw screw lock combo that they use for like a lot of their uh putting together that's in our a pack our b pack has uh some plastic uh kind of screw lock type stuff, 24 of those, and then 24 of the ones to push in, some longer dowels, 12 of those, 12 of the metal uh, screw lock type thing, six drawer bottom locks, and six uh, drawer bumpers. And the C1 pack, I don't think we use that at all, or maybe later on. And then we have drawer rails. We have three sets of left rails and three sets of right right rails. Uh, luckily, they're stamped on the bottom. And I got everything unboxed. So first thing we're going to do is take uh, the sun. We're going to build the sides of the unit, uh, the left side and the right side. Now we're going to want to note uh, that uh, it, the top, like, so the, like, um, See, what we're going to do is we're going to put them facing each other on the floor. But towards, you're going to be on one end, I'm going to be on the other. Just, you know, even though you're lying in bed sleeping up, I'm going to point it towards you. And we're going to make sure that on only in one top corner of these rectangular things, rectangular longwise, is two holes, uh, and so we're going to make sure those, we're going to do like a mirror or, or, or whatever, because then we're going to imagine if we stood this up, we'd be on either side correctly, which I know is confusing. But like, so we're, now what we're going to do is we're going to take four channel locks, two for each one on the bottoms that are close to each other. We're, I think we have the tops. Maybe we have the bottom. I don't know. Let's say we're bottom to bottom. That'll make you laugh, huh? Bottom to bottom. So we'll put one, two channel locks on mine, and that's what I'm just calling them, and two on yours. And then we're going to make sure their arrows are pointing up. Uh, oh, so if they're pointing up, then these are the tops. But that's not important. Okay, next thing we're going to do... Oh, no, those are the bottoms. That's fine. Um, next thing we're going to do is um, put on some the drawer rails. And we're going to do left ones first. Uh, and the hooks uh, go to the back. And the way we could tell the back of the unit is that it has more holes than the front of the unit. Because it has holes for dowels and chan like uh, whatever those are, uh, dowel screws, we'll call them. So the hook on the back of the drawer goes to the back of the unit, Okay. Next thing we got to do is make sure, so we're putting three drawer rails in, right? And uh, there, you got to make sure you're lined up with the right holes. So the one, the hole towards the back uh, uh, goes all the way, right? So you just, follow, I'm following this picture, goes for the, the furthest hole back. Uh, but then the f hole to the fore, forefront, uh, it goes three holes. It goes in the middle hole. Yeah, the middle hole. You're right. So this could be confusing, but luckily they have pictures. So we got to put in uh, two, four, six screws. Uh, yeah, and this is pre pretty easy because uh, we got a good screwdriver. That's important. Good a bit. Right. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right rails. And those screws are 100, 349. Uh, 
Good old, uh, it's one of my favorite stations, uh, 100 point, 103.49, Okay, now we're going to work on the back of the, um, the back of the sides. Uh, so we're going to put in four of these uh, metal, um, channel screws. These are, uh, what are these, 118, 118.331s, uh, we got, we should have eight of those, I think, or 16, I don't know. We're only working in the APAC, remember. Oh, they have two numbers. Interesting. They do one thing. They're so versatile. They have two numbers. Uh, you could call it a 118.331 or an 112996. Pleased to meet you. Okay, so we're only going to put two in, in, in the back of each unit. And you could tell what the holes for the dowels versus the holes for the um, screw dowels. Uh, Screw doll kind of sounds like a kind of bird or bird call. Screw doll, screw doll. Oh, is that your favorite kind of owl? Screw, screw, no, I'm saying screw doll. Are you mad at Malcolm McDowell? No, no. Um, as making up a term for a piece of IKEA hardware, wouldn't you call it the screw doll? Yeah, I would if I was as brilliant as you, but I'm only me. Okay, thank you, Brain, for that interlude. Okay, next, so you got those in. Okay, great. Oh, you're yeah. Don't worry, I got them in on your behalf. I'm doing all this work on your behalf. Uh, but yeah, this is how it works. This is a sleep with me at work. Next up, we're gonna. So next up, we're gonna put in dowels, but we're only putting the dowels in on my end, and we want to make sure we're using the dowels from the A pack and not the B pack. Those are one hundred one three forty fives. Uh, 101, what if somebody right now is on 101 at 345? Hopefully they're, not, they're probably not listening to sleep with me. And we're only going to put them in my end, which is the end with the left, uh, like, drawer rails on it. And we're, we have four holes and we have four four dowels. Remember that movie, Four Dowels for Four Holes? Uh, uh, that was, uh, okay, no? Okay, so then we're going to put uh, the back of the unit on my like or our yeah you're right our yeah our um I think so we're gonna slide it onto the dolls and the channel locks and the way we know we have it we're doing it right or correctly is that uh it um that there's a hole that's gonna be facing the inside of the drawer and that matches uh um yeah otherwise it matches up okay so we have that done and then we're going to put dowels in the top uh, of the uh, the back uh, on the four holes there. All right, now step six, we're going to lock that bottom back up, right? Uh, we're going to put in those two two channel locks, as I'm calling them, and we're going to rotate those with a flathead. Now, I realize it's a Phillips head, but it's uh, they say to use a flathead. So, yeah, just rotate it uh, clockwise, and you should feel it lock in. Oh, boy, yeah, it does feel good. Next thing we're going to do is stand up the unit uh, onto its bottom. Uh, and then we're going to connect it to the other end, your end. Uh, and we're going to slide those down. We're going to line it up. Yep. And then we're going to slide it in. And then we're going to do those two channel locks. Step seven complete. Now it's time to do the drawers. And we're going to do the faces of the drawers first. Uh, so we have three drawer faces, okay, and then we're going to open up the B pack of hardware, and we're actually going to separate all the any extras from the A pack. We're going to put with the C pack, okay. So just move those over so we don't get confused because I can get confused. Now the face of each drawer gets four uh, uh, dowel screws, but these are a different dowel screw. Um, Maybe these are one eighteen three three ones eleven two nine nine sixers, so they're not any different. They're just in a different bag. Okay, you're just going to screw them in, not in the dowel holes, but you 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 already know the difference between a dowel hole and a screw dowel hole. It's just uh, the dowel holes are a little bit a uh, larger diameter. So we're going to do eight, eight, four eight. Uh, Eight plus four is 12. Yeah, so we got three drawer faces. And now we're going to do uh, uh, the drawer. We're going to work on the um, sides of the drawers. Now, we do have uh, two, four, six sides of drawers, but one side of one drawer has like a, 
little sticker on there with all the informative sticker about how do you properly, you know, keep this thing so nobody gets their fingers pinched or anything. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to start off with dowels. We're going to put, uh, now this is where it can be confusing. Um, we're only going to put dowels in. Um, we're going to pay, so see how there's a little uh, cut out at the bottom? That's about where the bottom of the drawer is going to go. So we're going to line up the bottoms uh, so they're facing each other of each side of a drawer. And we're going to put dowels in for the front of the drawer. And we're going to put four dowels in. Now, these are the longer dowels, 101, 372, okay? Not 101, 101.37.2. Uh, some kind of drawer-based drawer radio. Okay, so we have those, right? Uh, okay, and we're going to do that two, four, six times, including the time with the one drawer with the sticker. Now what we're going to do is take the faces of the drawer, which we have already ready to roll on our um, yoga mat here, and we're going to apply the sides of the drawer. And we just, you, you know you're doing it right uh, when uh, the left and right sides, so, so the, like the part where the bottom of the drawer is going to slide in is all lined up. Right, so we're going to slide those down, the dowels and the screw dowels, uh, and then we're going to just do all uh, six. Uh, and then we're going to do the channel locks for those. And those channel locks are uh, 119030. And we're going to lock those in. And now we have drawers uh, with, uh, you know, backless, bottomless drawers. Uh, but not for long, because now we're going to, now this we want to make sure we do it for nice and easy, because we don't want to, we're going to slide the bottom of the drawer in. And the way you know the top of the drawer, top of the bottom of the drawer versus the bottom of the bottom of the drawer, which is actually the bottom of the drawer is the top of the bottom of the drawer. And the bottom of the bottom of the drawer is the top, uh, because it doesn't have any, like, uh, it doesn't have primer on it. So do you understand what I'm saying? We want to make sure we're putting the bottom of the drawer in with the top up. So the top of the bottom of the drawer is the bottom of the drawer. But, but you can't say it's the bottom of the top, the bottom of the drawer, because the bottom of the bottom of the drawer is below the bottom of the drawer because it's on the bottom of the bottom of the drawer. I mean, I know it's confusing, but it's, I'm just trying to be, okay, so we have these pieces of balsa-like wood. These three things are the bottoms of the drawer. You're, we're, we're both in agreement about that, okay. When we slide them in, they will become the bottoms of the drawers. Okay, you're with me on that. Each of these squares, which will one day become the bottom of the drawer, has a top and a bottom side. You're with me, right? Okay, one side is exposed balsa wood, sanded or whatever, but no paint or laminate, whatever you want to call it. I, I, like uh, the other side is a nice smooth surface. Correct, right? The smooth surface would be considered the upward facing or top of this item we're working with. You would agree with me that, that we're working with these squarish, rectangularish items, and these items have a top and a bottom, or upward upper side and a, lo, a, a top and a bottom. Upward, no one says upward side. No, one, Annie never said. I bet my lower, uh, lower en rear, my rear end, uh, dollar, uh, that tomorrow, that the day following this day, the, the, it will be not be partly cloudy, but will probably be, uh, partly sunny or full sun. If Annie said that, then the sh that would not have been a famous musical, uh, she'd say, if she said, I would like to wager my rear end even uh, that, like, uh, the next day from today, 
there may, the sun will probably sh- most likely be shining, right? I mean, we can agree on that. Uh, just like as two reasonable people, we can agree that these have tops and bottoms. Uh, you could choose to refer them in a different way, but you could also choose that this is a top uh, and that is a bottom. And just because this is bottom of a drawer does not mean it's incorrect to, to, to refer to the top of the bottom of the drawer does not mean I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to, you know, you go on a meander. <laughs> but uh, you could say I'm correct, right, that the bottom of the drawer has a top. Uh, it's it, it, When it comes to bot- bottoms of drawers, I'm the, I'm the top. So thank you so much. Uh, so we just want to make sure that the top of the bottom of the drawer is uh, is facing in, uh, so that's the inside also, the top of the bottom of the drawer is the inside of the drawer. The in, that, that helps, right? The fa- inside facing side. I mean, if we were talking technicalities and not Annie the musical, you could say that. Like, uh, you could bet, I mean, she's only using it as a metaphor where we're talking about a concrete thing. I don't even know what bottom dollar means anyway. Like almost aren't the majority of in the past when people carried dollars, uh, uh, like your last dollar, you bet my bottom dollar that tomorrow, like you let bet my bottom dollar. I don't know. Probably it's a good thing that you're sleeping and I'm talking, huh? Or you're resting. I know, and I'm barely barely entertaining you. But again, I just want to be clear that we want to make sure the top of the bottom of the drawer is facing the inside of the drawer so that the bottom of the dr- the top of the bottom of the drawer is on the bottom of the drawer at the top of the bottom of the drawer so so okay so let's slide those in with the bottom face the cuz you can't say the bottom's facing up it doesn't make any sense you could say so the bo- the top of the bottom of the drawer is uh, is it is 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 facing is the bot becomes the bottom of the comes the bottom of the drawer with but it's the top of the bottom of the drawer and the bottom of the drawer is underneath the drawer okay so we got we got those in and that was good that was good stuff i mean this is why i make a sleep podcast okay next we have the back of the drawer no i don't think there's any uh need to debate that and that so you want to see see how this it goes right on that lip uh and then we just take four plastic uh uh doll doll plastic doll 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 to be locked uh doll to be locked pieces fit those on in the back and then we fit four plastic uh those are um 145 718s yeah and the uh, plastic dial locks are, dial locks are 119030s. No, yeah, w- like uh, we're almost done, yes, uh, with this uh, set of drawers. Okay, now we're going to put the bottom and then on the, um, the rail, like uh, we're going to put the plastic parts towards the underside of the drawer on the sides of the drawer. Are these uh, 147, 191s? Those fit into the drawer rail. That's what snaps into the drawer rail. Yeah, the 147, 191 connects to the door rail, drawer rail. So, yeah, we put those on either side. Those kind of push in. We made it to do some light tapping. Uh, then we're going to put the, uh, four, on the four corners of the back of the face front of the drawer, we're going to put drawer bumpers. It was a little plastic uh, rubber bumpers. Okay, we're not doing any uh, assembly just yet of that. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is put the drawers in, uh, which we actually, do, I guess I learned we don't want to do that now, but we'll just practice because it does take some practice, and we want to practice before the tops are on. So let me just show you. So the, the drawer with the writing sticker on it goes up top, and you put that in first. Uh so one of us is going to lean in, and we're going to get the rails so they're loose because they do they do have like a thing so they're not yeah there you go. So I'm going to hold I'm going to put my fingers uh, on like the the back ho- where the hook is, and you're going to come in on the drawer with at an angle, 
and we're going to, it's going to hook right into the holes on the bottom corners of the back of the drawer. And then all you're going to do is uh, lower that uh, down and it's going to hook and click right onto the front of the drawer. Uh, how about that? Uh, I don't think I did this last time where you push it in so it clicks, uh, but uh, I'll have to do that at some point. But yeah, that's it. The drawers are now assembled, and then we'll take them back out. Okay, so let me, let's just get, because I had those other drawers assembled, of course. Uh, so did you know you could go as far as, uh, oh, six drawers high is the maximum. So we could only do one more level on this, really. Okay, so we have all the parts. Uh, we have, uh, uh, so we're going to put on the bottom. We're going to work on the bottom first, which I have over here. So we're going to put, first we're going to put the feet on, and there's uh, six feet with uh, felt pads. Uh, so we're going to put those on. Okay, yeah. Those are 192s, 238s, and 157, 732s. Whoever drew this didn't know that the drawers, I mean, maybe you could buy two drawer high units. I didn't realize that. We bought three drawer high units. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, and then we're going to flip this over. So, yeah, and then let's, we'll level it out. I like leveling it out now. This, it's going to go in this corner here. Yeah. Okay, good work. Uh, then we're, okay, so, yeah, we flipped it over. So that's when we leveled it. Okay, next up we got these like attaching things that uh, I don't even know what to call them plasticky, metally attachy things uh, that uh, we're going to dowel in to the bottom. The top of the bottom, yeah. When you get to the bottom, you go back to the top. In this case, it's we're, out, we're working on the top of the bottom of the Nordly. And we're just going to dial those in. Uh, it does take a little, yeah, it does take a little effort. Yeah, and those dials are 101s, 345s. That's from our pack number two. Okay, now we have this uh, these strips uh, in. Yeah, there's six strips. Uh, oh, boy, okay. Okay, so this is where we, okay, that's fine. So this is, uh, so we need to do one more set of strips, uh, for the, uh, okay, so we just got to move those over because we're doing two sets of like, uh, half drawers and one set of full drawers. Okay. So we got that done. Okay, good. Next up, we're going to put in the, uh, metal wood, uh, metal dowels or screw dowels, uh, one, one, four, six, thirteens, a, uh, we put two in each uh, strip. Yeah, that's it. And then, um, yeah, now we have like a layout. This is basically our foundation. And then we're going to lower our Nordleys onto the foundation. So we're going to put the two and then the two and then the middle and then the two. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's a nice little layout we got there. I like it. Uh, and we could adjust this. Uh, then we're going to channel lock. Remember those channel locks we'd put in earlier? Now we're going to put more of those. We're going to lock uh, the, bo the bottom the bottom, of the, the bottom to the bottom in this case, the bottom of the preassembled drawer units uh, to the bottom of the dresser unit. Uh, and we're going to screw those uh, or twist those uh, and lock them clockwise correct next up we're going to open up uh do we need c1 and c2 i guess we do uh okay so we're going to put uh on the top of these we're going to put these dowels in and then um yeah we're going to put dowels in uh, all the holes uh, that don't um take uh yeah yeah, and then we're going to put these long things in there. These are 106 940s, uh, and they're going to get channel locked in. Yeah, and then we're going to put in these front edges here, we're going to put these uh, 109.48s. Uh, okay, those are other another one. Oh, no, whoops. Uh, sorry, wrong instructions. Uh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, totally threw us off. Okay, go back. So basically, we wanted, I didn't want to do that. So here, here's what I wanted to do. There's the top. Uh, it's even easier than I made it out to be. We're going to put all these uh, 146s on the bottom of the top, these uh, screw dowels. Uh, 
Yeah, we could take all that other stuff out. That's We'll leave the wood dials in, though. So the wood dials are fine. We just need to take out those long things. Yeah, okay. And yeah, now we're going to put the top in. We're going to lay the top of the dresser on the top of the the drawer, the drawer units. Uh, and we're going to line it up nicely. And then, yeah, there we go. Now we're going to, I'm going to sit on it to make sure it gets pushed in. And we're going to lock all the channel locks. Okay. Then we're going to level it again. Yeah, which is nice, huh? Yeah, leveling is nice. Uh, you know, the top's on. It's getting leveled. And then we're going to attach it to the wall using uh, these straps there. But I had already installed that, so it's like set up. So then you can wall anchor it. And yeah, that's the that's the Nordly is now we got the Nordly in. Now I'll just move it against the wall here. It's nice because it's got the feet, and now there's no carpet in here. Just kind of slides in, huh? So yeah, that was that was great. Thank you for your help. I uh, hope you enjoyed assembling something with me because I appreciate you being here to assemble it. That we got to assemble it to, together. Uh, and I'll see you soon. You rest. Uh, well, I make sure everything's lined up uh, and ready to go. Uh, good night. All right, I want to thank everybody on Spotify that's been submitting questions for Question Corner. And anywhere else, you could just go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash QQ. That's double Q. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash double Q. And uh, you could post a question uh, for our question corner, I'll do my best to answer it. You could also get your questions answered as you scroll through all those posts. Those are free posts, by the way, so uh, no charge. Uh, uh, Patreon or it's a free Patreon post. Okay, so I want to thank uh, Ali uh, Quacks. Uh, thank you for your questions. Thanks, thanks, and good night. I want to thank uh, uh, Alvin and R. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks and good night. And then these people answered, uh, where do you live in the world? Uh, uh, Maya is in Israel. Mary is in Ireland. OJ, South Africa. Uh, Goodby is in California. Heather's in Calgary. Uh Abiyan, Sue's in India. Vis is in Harlow in the UK. Angie's in Western Canada. Sue's in Suffolk, England. Lex is also in Western Canada. Uh, Lindsay in Seattle. Brock in Michigan. Uh, Ezriki, Indonesia. Lily, New York City. Lynn, North Carolina. Uh, Ball is in Port Angeles, uh, Washington, Megs, Queensland, Australia, Suvi from Finland, but lives in Australia. Uh, Thalia is in, uh, Cape Town, South Africa, Anne's in the Netherlands, uh, Warren's in Philly, Niren's in the UK, Maeve in the US, uh, Mags in Sydney, Australia, Logan in England, uh, Larian's in Jaipur, uh, ironically, because that was the Jaipur unboxing episode, and Christie's in Pennsylvania. So thanks everybody that participates in stuff, whether it's on Spotify or Patreon or stuff I talk about on the show. Really, uh, really appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions about the show you want answered, maybe somebody's already asked a question, or you could answer it. You just go to sleepwithmepodcast.com. Uh, slash QQ, and it should come up. Uh, thanks and good night, everybody. And you can always say, uh, like, uh, like support the show directly or support it for free by spreading the word. It's a huge uh, way to support the show, and I really appreciate it. And, uh, um, yeah, um, uh, and here's uh, future scoots or past scoots, uh, asking for support for something, so you can check that out too. Hey, everybody, this is Scoots. Just wanted to tuck you in. You probably heard me talking about Sleep With Me Plus. 
It's based on how you listen to the show and 10 years of feedback. So we have a podcast with ad-free uh, episodes without the supporter zone, without the thank yous at the end. We have a podcast with story-only episodes, no music at all. We have another podcast, depending on the tier, that has all intro episodes and on extra long compilations uh, of uh, themed episodes like TNG or Great British Bake Off or some of our stories. And then we have a bonus feed full of bonus content. And you could get a seven day free trial by signing up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. And uh, if you're not in a position financially to support the show, totally understand that. We've got our referral program. It, people are earning uh, six months of ad-free and story-only episodes. Uh, we've had a couple of people earn three months, and I'm sure they're working their way to six months. I haven't checked today. And you could sign up for that, and you just have to share your link with people. It's uh, sleepinmepodcast.com slash refer, R-E-F-E-R. And you just have to refer them to the free podcast. Uh, if they uh, subscribe to the free podcast in a free podcast app, uh, you'll get credit. And yeah, as you uh, bring people in, three people, get you three months of ad-free story-only episodes, six people, six months. Uh, so uh, get over there and sign up for one of those uh, as I tuck you in. Thanks.